Good day everybody, I'm Brian Meister. I'm doing 10 vlogs in 10 days and today I'm doing vlog number two. Uh, in the first vlog I talked about uh, potential and ability. Today I'm gonna talk about strengths and opportunities. Uh, I first off want to thank everybody for uh, providing their comments and insights uh, from the first video, provided a lot of value. And yeah, it was uh, really surreal um, uh, meeting Chris Hatfield. I was uh, a bit starstruck, uh, to tell you the truth. But So anyways, I digress. Um, uh, providing more, more feedback and information on this vid video really helps, and I really appreciate it. So to get into it, I'm going to talk about strengths and opportunities. Now, with strengths, these could be things that either you've recognized yourself or somebody else has recognized. It could be something that um, maybe in school uh, or at work, you know, you were really rec you graded high, uh, you you got um, wage increases or something something in business uh, because you were recognized for uh, a specific attribute. Now, what I think is valuable with uh, to help build on strengths is also to be able to recognize uh, opportunities and environments that you can place yourself in that help build and enhance uh, your strengths. So a common tool that is, um, when looking at either yourself or a business, is what's called a SWOT analysis. And what a SWOT analysis is, is it goes over your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and, and your threats. I'm not going to go into uh, the weaknesses or threats for, uh, for a certain reason here, but in the context of strengths and opportunities, uh, an important element is, is doing an action. Um, now, once you place yourself in an environment that uh, challenges you, and this is what, why action I think is, is key, is that by putting yourself into those environments and situation uh, through action, you're going to come across, you know, obstacles and hurdles and struggles. And but what they're, those struggles are going to do, they're only going to help build upon your strengths e even more. Uh, another key component to this it might be um, recognizing somebody that has strengths that you have, but maybe at a higher level. And now in the context of this, I'm just gonna keep this down on, on a strength level, but if you recognize somebody, that could be somebody that you know, might be at a subject matter expert level, they're, real, they're at the top of their game. It could be somebody that's a, a coach or a mentor in that specific field, but, or it might also be an influencer. You know, there's uh, books, and, books and authors, um, these are people of influence that could also be uh, virtual mentors to you as well. So anyways, that's the idea of building on your strengths. Um, the reason why I don't talk about weaknesses is that if you find, uh, I guess an important thing about weaknesses, if you're in an element where uh, your weaknesses is actually something that you need to build on, uh, you may not need to build on that. You, you might be able to recognize somebody that has, is strong and where you're weak and create an alliance to be able to, you know, triage your time so you can focus on your strength area. Find somebody that can help you on the, where you're weak so you, you can focus on where you're strong at. So that's my, uh, that's my uh, thought of the day here for uh, strengths and, and placing yourself in environments where uh, you're able to build upon those strengths. So. If you have comments to blow uh, on on my idea here, I, I want to hear it. Uh, place it in, uh, in the comments below here, and I'll see you on the next vlog. Thanks. Bye for now.